There's a narrow boat. What? That narrow boat weather vane. What are you on about? Narrow boat weather vane. Looks like it's just been painted. It's been cool. What's on that side? You're on the bottom. Well, he's gone. <laughs> I don't know, but I just back up a bit. <laughs> so it was quite a long way out. <laughs> we just ran to a halt. The easiest way is just to back off. And try again. Just be careful where you put the back end. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. So uh, here we are again. Sorry it's been a while. Uh, just so busy recently. So we're heading on the Coventry Canal back towards Faisley Junction. You've got another one coming at the other side. Oh, right, bro. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's about that for look. Someone's just come out of this one and someone's just going in the lock below. So thank you for watching, liking, subscribing and uh, it would be nice to have some comments. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're continuing our journey on a little trip out for two weeks. See where we get end up. <laughs> Someone kindly doing the lock gate for us and I nearly knock him over when the wind blows me into the lock gate very gently but sorry Mr Helper so if you watched the previous vlog uh, we decided to turn around because there was a lot of low water at Atherston this is summer 22, so we're now going to go down towards Fradley and then turn left towards Birmingham. So we're going to have a little wander up here, <laughs> see what we can find. So it would have been about 21 years ago, something like that. Uh, our children was both uh, very young and uh, this land here came up for sale. It had got some GRP cruisers called uh, Debbie's Day Boats and then a few moorings alongside. Yeah. Um, so we thought about it and it would have meant it was a huge risk. So in the end we didn't pursue it. but. Might our lives have been different if we had? But I think we've done okay. We still work hard, but I think we probably would have worked harder if we'd have bought that. But yeah, it's certainly uh, grown and developed. Looks like there's a boat yard there, and there's a lot more boats moored up than there was in them days. But I think the wooden pontoons are still the same. There was, there was a bit dilapidated in them days. And, would have wanted a lot of money spending on it and uh, yeah we hadn't got that money to invest really I like the bit bit on the back look yeah. you imagine Carl driving along and I'm sat on the back with a glass of wine mm -hmm. or well, I wouldn't drink a glass of wine <laughs> glass of cider there Home of a spoilt rotten cat. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that.
just used to go to Drayton Manor Park. So the swing bridge is so you can get attracted into that field. Where was Drayton Manor Park? Over uh, that way. We went to it once when the kids were little. Moored the boat up somewhere around here and uh, walked to it. Mm. It was quite lovely. Cool. <laughs> Stuff going on the roof of that. So these guys um, pulled over to the right to let us pass uh, because there was a few reeds back there and they got stuck now. <laughs> we have been uh, having a few difficulties as well. I think uh, the canals perhaps need dredging. So it's a really hot day and uh, we're going to walk for some lunch. This is us moored up for some lunch. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're going to take a view on what we're going to do next. So we'll get the drone out. Yeah, it's, the drone is a little bit new, so uh, I'm practicing at the moment. But do you manage, manage to find uh, the boat with it? <laughs> so yeah, it's a really lovely spot here. And it's in the shade, it's really hot weather. So I'm going to uh, stay here for the night. And, So uh, we have some tea and um, we'll go for a little walk. We found some horses. Yeah. Hello. You've got loads of nasty midges. So the next morning uh, we take a view and um, we decide we're not going to go up the locks towards Birmingham because we don't really want to go to Birmingham and it's really lovely around here <laughs> and uh, we found a house, uh, Middleton Hall it's called and uh, we decide we're going to turn around and head back towards Fisher's Bridge which isn't actually far away from where we moored yesterday and we're going to have a look at Middleton Hall and uh, yeah we've not really done any research up this way I know if we go uh, through them lots we end up going through well, the suburbs of Birmingham here, although I'd, I'd really love to go through to the centre of yeah, Birmingham around, and uh, Gas Street Basin but uh, getting there is a bit of a it can be a bit of an ordeal I think <laughs> so uh, yeah huh? we would want a nice relaxing holiday especially with me having this foot problem um, I don't really want to be doing lots and lots of locks yeah, we can do whatever we want, can't we? You know, and wherever you're more, you can only you only have to go half a mile away, and you've got a completely different view. And that is the beauty of it, and that's why we love it so much. Plus, you're always in this beautiful look at this; it's lovely. So yeah, we're more up, and uh, we go for a walk up to Middleton Hall. Yeah, it's a really pleasant walk. It's uh, RSPB. Uh, owned around here and I thought that said Mid Middleton Cakes 
but uh, I thought, oh, cake! <laughs> so off we go, looking for cake, and uh, I think what it said was lake. <laughs> I do like a bit of cake, but I've got to stop eating cake because cake makes you get put weight on, <laughs> and uh, that would help my foot if I lost some weight. And I need to, and I will. I'm going to do it. So yeah, it's really, it's really lovely. Really lovely. Loads of paths around here that you can walk along. And then um, as you get near to it, there's uh, near to the car park, there's this bird watching area. We stood and watched the birds for a little while, which was quite nice. Oh, look. So there was uh, quite a few finches going and feeding, which was nice to watch. So now we've arrived at Middleton Hall. And mm. uh, as you go through, you come into this courtyard. And uh, there's some little businesses here and a cafe and um, gift shops, it's lovely. It's a, you know, real gem. Didn't expect this. <laughs> mm. Not a look in here. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> wow. Please come in. Thank you. Spell this. Starts with kids. <laughs> so there's crystal balls for sale and all sorts of. Uh, unusual things you can buy yeah. Yeah. and also the spells so I asked for a spell for, to make my foot better and she gave me a po some potion for to soak my foot in and hopefully it might work but now I've lost Carl oh, guess where Carl is <laughs> hello <laughs> uh, I guess we, um, you kind of <laughs> so uh, this is a company called split drinks and uh, they do uh, special gins and ciders and beers and they also do uh, bars for weddings and such like and uh, you know special occasions Oh, thank you. What's this? And this is called Lily the Pink. It's a Herefordshire cider. It's made with candy apples, so it's nice and sweet. Easy drinking, very easy drinking cider. It goes nice down well on an arrow mode. Very smooth. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> very charming young man. <laughs> and uh, how does this work then? Can you guess? If you can guess, put in the comments below. And this is uh, some of the beers that they sell. And it's all just a little bit different if you want something a bit special. So, on to Middleton Hall. So, the history of Middleton Hall goes back around a thousand years, according to what I've researched. And if you look on the end there, is that Tudor part of the building? Looks a bit lopsided, doesn't it? So, the uh, whole building has been restored over the past 30 years after it was abandoned and left to go derelict. As you walk around there's uh, lots of information about uh, the history of it and yeah it's one of the most amazing places I've been I think. Do but I have to duck? I found it really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so this is in the Tudor part where it's very sloping. <laughs> that wouldn't be very good for your joinery would it? So there's uh, different parts of the whole building that are built in different centuries. It's quite incredible. And it's got a really yes. interesting story behind it. We've got en suite. There's a composting toilet. Yes, that is a composting toilet from 1200s. <laughs> So this is the kitchen. I'm only showing you very briefly because uh, yeah. if you wanted to go and visit, I didn't want to spoil it for anybody. And obviously, you know, it encourages people to go and visit the place. 
So there was a lot of Robert Peels. Similar nose. So <laughs> Robert Peels. So. Not and there you've lived at um, Drayton Manor, which I'm assuming is where Drayton Manor Park is. Lots of tapestries, it's what people used to do instead of going on the internet all the time. Wow. It's a grand staircase if ever you saw one. And can you believe that they used to ride motorcycles up and down this staircase when uh, the place was abandoned? We do actually do weddings here and also split drinks um, to the bar for the weddings that they put on here and elsewhere of course. So yeah, I, I recommend a visit to here. Uh, it's in 42 acres of land plus is RSPB um, ground you can walk around and lakes and lots of wildlife to look for. And this house is just remarkable. Baby. So do a bit of fur release. <laughs> That's what I know. <laughs> wow. Look how grand it looks from the outside. Sorry? The old bit there. Beautiful. And this is what it looked like when they found it. And there's uh, some of the information about it it's just uh, beautiful and uh, there's so many different parts to it and in the grounds we've got activities for kids and adults <laughs> we found the unicorn poo now we've got to look for grand entrance to our garden can you spot the poop this is a wall garden <laughs> I couldn't find the wall garden. There's another one here. Over everywhere. Some more. Where? And then we find ourselves looking for unicorn poo on the unicorn trail. Found some more unicorn poo. Go back to the boat. We've got uh, a supply of cider and beer for Carl. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to have a relax now. I'm going to soak my foot in the potion I got from the gift shop. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching this uh, video and. Um, yeah, we'll catch you next time and we'll see where we get to when we carry on on our journey. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear from just one person <laughs> or two. Yeah, thanks for watching and you take care. And I'll see you very soon. <laughs>